In Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey, one day, one day soon, self-driving cars may help us get around. And that means self-driving self bikes would not be too far behind, right? But just like with learning to ride a bicycle, the journey to creating an autonomous bike starts with an autonomous tricycle. Take a look. This right here is our emergency brake switch. From the brakes, to the wheel movements, to the sonar. So this will tell you crudely what you have in front of you. So These students take a lot of pride in their creation. We have accomplished a lot and we're not planning on stopping now. Stopping and going may be simple functions to you and me, but programming an autonomous trike to do them is anything but simple. For some reason is not doing what it should. Troubleshooting gives these engineering students real world experience, unlike the classroom. If you're working in the lab, you have an experiment that's been carefully set up for you to get the right answer. You don't have to come into conflict with how the world really works. And Mother Nature is not always very cooperative. They take it outside for a test drive. The project really got rolling with a $75,000 grant from Amazon. Yeah, the speed's in. The pay attracted talented UW Bothell students with the motivation to see it through. Brakes are working, so that's nice. They find it drives well with the remote, but the true test is programming the trike to take a specific route. They named the trike Elcano after the first explorer to circumnavigate the globe. Careful. You're good. <laughs> this Elcano runs into a few obstacles along the way. What happened? I almost got ran over. The trike gives them a more stable platform. The lighter weight allows a fuel efficient system to use far less energy than a car. The end product will be open source for anyone to use. I've been working on this for years to get to this point and it's going and it feels really good. But probably not without a pretty durable helmet. Call it a poor man's version of autonomy, um, rich with excitement and innovation. Woo! Nice stop. <laughs> the research is interesting. Now I'm just going to put a camera on it so it can recognize people and other obstacles. Right. So it's not running into the, <laughs> into folks. I, I loved their expressions. <laughs> they were surprised, I felt like, by how fast it could go. You better trust whoever has a remote control just in <laughs> case, though. <laughs> right. Like, make sure it's not your worst enemy. Well, it's in a controlled environment for now, but we'll see if it gets out there in the real world and how soon. That would be really exciting. Yeah. That would be really neat. A new hobby for us. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>